This is about an outcrop of the Red Bluff Granite Complex in the Franklin Mountains in West Texas. These are the Franklin Mountains facing west. This is an ortho photo of the region. Here's the Franklin Mountains. Fort Bliss is here to the east. The outcrop is on Trans Mountain Road. Let's zoom in. Northern El Paso is on the right. And again, the outcrop is a road cut located here, directly across from a rest area on Trans Mountain Road. Rotate the view and zoom in again. North is to the right. Look at the vertically oriented beds here at the southwest end of the outcrop. The rest of the outcrop does not have bedding. Here is what you would see if standing on the median looking at the vertical beds. These are the Kastner marble, which formed the roof of a magma chamber where the red bluff granite cooled. The irregular white layer in the center is a dike which intruded between some of the layers of the marble. Here is what you'd see if you look to the northeast from the same location, the Red Bluff Granite Complex. This dark spot stands out. Here's a closer look. It's a large xenolith, which became trapped in the Red Bluff Granite, which cooled and froze it in place. Looking back at the overview, here's another prominent dike which cuts across the granite and other xenoliths. Here's another view from the median, but further to the northeast, near the center of the outcrop. In the center is another dark xenolith. To the right is another xenolith of a different rock type that has bedding preserved. Other smaller xenoliths and dikes are scattered randomly across the outcrop. Looking to the left of center, there are some angular features in the rock. Here's what it looks like head on. Dikes cross cutting an enormous xenolith. Looking to the right of center, there are many intersecting dikes cross-cutting dark basaltic rock. Here it is head on. Now go check it out yourself in person. Thanks for watching.